In today's video, I am going to find the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Box. I'm here at Walmart. It's late, it's 10.30, close in 30 minutes. But I still haven't found that stupid mystery box and everybody else has one except me. So I'm about to go in there and I'm gonna find one. Just mark my words, we're about to do it right now. So let's go. There they are. These things are gigantic, holy crap. These things are ridiculously large. Look how big this is. It is at, like, the pictures don't do it justice. This thing's like over a foot, it's like a foot and a half long. It's stupid. I, I'm interested to see what's inside. The light just went off, so let's get back. All right, guys, I officially found the new monster box. Now, as I mentioned already, this is the most ridiculously sized box of all time. As you can see, my gigantic head, it's three of them. I mean, it, it is very large. Another thing I noticed as I was going to look at this is I'm not seeing any packs in here. No packs, maybe? Okay, let's just take a look at it. You can't even see it, it's too big. I mean, this fits the name Monster Box. Before Monster Box, I don't even know what monster meant. It just meant another version of Mystery Box. But here, we have a monster-sized box, so it checks out. It's the Battle Edition, so if you're, I guess, Dual Edition, really. One Structure Deck, one Play Mat, one Portfolio, 150 Count Sleeve, and one Card Case. Okay, so none of that is a booster pack. So that's gonna make this a little bit harder to have a video on, but we're gonna open it up. I mean, we, it doesn't seem like there's any packs, but... Let's find out what's inside. I have two of these. I guess we're gonna open both and then maybe give away some items from in here. It's gonna be a very large package. And I, and I, you guys know, all you international people, you guys find ways to win the giveaways. So I'm gonna end up sending it to you guys. It's gonna be a box like this big. It's gonna have $50 to ship it or something crazy. But yeah, we'll just, we'll give away like one contents or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about these? monster boxes which are a monster size i i don't know this is a strange box it's a lot different than the normal one so maybe it'll be good all right so two of these were 56 dollars 90 so keep that in mind we're looking at uh, what is the math 28 bucks each a little bit more than that a little bit less than 29 28 50 28 40 28 45 there we go we figured it out something like that so they were i mean not that bad for how big it is but i mean as you see there's only a few things in here so let's see if we get our money back here we'll try to make our money back i guess there's no pack so it's going to be a little interesting, but I I'm gonna have to open this over here. This thing's gigantic. <laughs> you guys know I hate giant things just because it makes it hard to film. <laughs> but it, when seeing these at Walmart, when I, I was walking in just from the door and I was like, I see them. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing else that could be. All right, we're just gonna have to go one. We're just gonna have to do, do it over here like this. So first off, play mat. Okay, ooh, there might, wait, wait, wait. Did I see elemental heroes over? Wait a second, elemental hero, that could mean something. And by mean something, I mean this would be pretty sick. We got an elemental hero mat. So elemental heroes, elemental heroes, elemental, he wait. These are all on the elemental hero game. Oh, I could have just read that. Elemental hero game mat. This seems promising, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta open this up. We gotta, I mean, there's no packs to open today. Uh, so we gotta, I mean, I think at least, unless we get duped or something, but let's just see. What does this Elements of Hero game mat look like? It's gotta be sweet. I mean, oh, 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 okay, here's, okay, wait a second. Okay, I love Elemental Hero Game Mat. That is awesome. Here's what I don't like, is when the merch is just the artwork from the card in a square put next to the artwork in another card in a square. If I'm Konami, I'm making some cool, like, you know, action shot of, like, Burst in a Tricks, Clay Man, Spark Man, Avian, like, all, like, up on here, like, different, like, not this exact same pose, like, doing the same thing. I'm looking for some sort of, like, di you know, new artwork on this thing. Not necessarily necessarily just like the squares so while it is cool it's also i don't know feels like it could be better though they do have some pretty cool ones as well so i don't know that's just i think it's pretty cool it's not bad it's definitely a cool archetype all right next item we have okay we have the portfolio this is dogmatica ecclesia and the fallen of albaz there we go albaz ecclesia and tri brigade where's the tri brigade i can't see it's so shiny wait it's on the back oh maybe it's on the back so shiny i can't even show you guys look okay maybe if i go like this i'm gonna try not to hit the mic there we go there's the better look at that so there's the uh the binder portfolio whatever you want to call this thing so yeah you have uh this is just basically an accessory monster box so far. Okay, next we have a thing of sleeves. Okay, okay, now we're talking. You've won me over. Karibo Collection with the K. Karibo Collection card sleeves. 
That's pretty cool. 50 card sleeves of Magi Karibo, the legend. Okay, these are pretty sweet. These are pretty awesome. The Magi Karibo just rocking it right there. The Dark Magician hat on the Karibo, the Dark Magician one. That's pretty sick. I'm a big fan. That's my favorite item so far. All right, we got two more items. We have, okay, look at this. Elemental Hero card case. That's the Skyscraper right there. The Skyscraper card case. I'm not gonna, okay, what is this tape? Is this taped back on? What in the world? It looks like they just taped it back on. That's weird. Okay, but this is a really cool deck box. I'm not going to lie. This is, oh, that's good. Is that the Flame Wingman up there? Yeah, it looks like the Flame Wingman. That's, that's nice. I'm a fan of this. I like this deck box. Holds 70 sleeved cards. That's good because, you know, a deck is 60 plus the extra deck. Wait, are there dice in there? No, that's the, that's the separator wait if you played a 60 card deck which most people don't you could fit your extra deck in here huh interesting so if you're playing 60 cards bad luck though if you are playing i just dropped it but if you're playing elemental heroes you're probably not playing 60 cards all right last item is our structure deck and we got the dark world first edition structure deck that's pretty sweet though now that i think about it i think this is the new one so i don't think you could even get a non-first edition version but either way pretty cool there's a lot of you know, of Dark World, of Dark World, of Dark World. <laughs> Look at that. You're just so consistent because it's all of Dark World. That is a pretty nice looking structure deck. I'm not going to lie. I like the look of it. It looks cool. I feel like in a few years, I could see this one being like, I, it just looks like it would be expensive in about five years, but it probably won't be, to be honest. It'll get like 50 reprints, but still awesome. And that's it. That's everything. But honestly, like you kind of get a lot of value, like in terms of the merch. But the question is, if you're going to get the merch, why not just buy it separately? But maybe you did save a little bit of money. We'll have to see what the total was for that monster box. Maybe it was less than the twenty eight forty five that you would have spent with the uh, bought that and tax and everything. I, I said less. Maybe it would be worth more, you know, so it's actually worth it. You get a little mini discount. But the thing is, you don't really get to pick the ones you want. So it's like, is it worth it to get randomized ones? So maybe, maybe not. Let me try this second one. Let's see what we can get. Interesting product. I'll say that. It's definitely different, which is, I mean, I'm not mad. It's nice to see something different every once in a while. Though Monster Box used to be my favorite one because they had a great variety of packs and then they kind of went downhill. So I said Monster Box, wasn't it the one that had that terrible Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 as the cover recently? And then I guess this is the newest one. Uh, by the way, MJ Holding down here, you can see a uh, classic MJ holding. Yeah, it's always them. More products. Let's see what we get this time. Is there going to be any variants at all? Let's find out. Uh, that looks like that is an Elemental Hero game mat, which guess what? We have already seen this because it is the exact same. I don't know if we're going to expect different stuff or not, but we didn't there. All right. Item number two. Come on. Give us something different. Do not be the Dogmatica Ecclesia portfolio, please. It is the Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Fallen of Albaz, and the Tri Brigade nine pocket duelist portfolio. So far, which it is the monster box, there tends to be less variety in the monster box. And they are continuing that here. We have yet another of the same portfolio. All right, we still got three more items. I believe there's gonna be something different. Let's go, let's go with the sleeves. I would like these to be the same. They'll be different, of course. Oh, uh, they're not. Okay, Karibo collection. I do like the Karibo collection. I really like Magic Karibo. Pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie, but not any different. Two more items, let's see if this deck's different. Let's see if it's taped, it feels like it is. It is the same deck box. Okay, so uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that they will always be these, but our two have been exactly the same so far. So we're looking like it is likely you will have, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a huge fan of this deck box. This, this deck box, I can't speak. The deck box and the sleeves, I really like. Okay, last item, will it be a Dark World structure deck? Hmm, based on the feel of it, it does feel a little different, actually. It feels like it's a little smaller. Oh, the side. Wait, is this a European deck? That's why it feels different. This is definitely not a USA deck. It's a lot smaller. Ours were super tall and a little bit thicker and a little bit maybe skinnier this way. No, man, maybe the same. I don't know. This is definitely UK CA. Is that United Kingdom and Canada or is that just random things that just happen to look like UK? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that this is U a UK product. English edition doesn't really tell us that much. Unlimited. Okay, so we got a different deck. So it looks like the variety you can get is the decks. But unfortunately, no packs in here. All right, and because there were no packs, I'm gonna add a couple packs. I have my own mystery pack 
First Edition Dawn of Majesty, First Edition Soul Burning Volcano, Soul Fusion First Ed, and two Extreme Victory First Ed. So let's open these up, try to get Starlight Stardust. I gotta open a couple packs for you guys. Monster boxes, sure, they're fine. I mean, not something I'm gonna buy again because it's all accessories. And to be honest, accessories are what I'm always trying to get rid of because they take up so much room and I just end up with a bunch of them. I'm like, I can't use all this stuff. So I'm always just trying to get rid of accessories, not get more. Um, so yeah, not super exciting for me, but maybe if you are like, if you actually need like a deck box, sleeves and a mat, you can get it all at once, which is actually pretty nice uh, to be able to access that all at one time. So I only did three from the back, so that'll work. Tin dangle, not what we're looking for. So I do see some value in having that, but at the same time, it isn't that expensive. I'm really, if you think about it, getting the mat and everything, that all, actually probably isn't a terrible value. What did I just open? I don't remember where the ghost would be. I'm gonna do one for the back. We have battle and box. It'd be really cool if we got a ghost. Rapid Puncher, we have Chief Second and Scatter Shot. So we are 0 for 2. Soul Fusion, if we can get that Colossus, guys, that'd be pretty nice. It's a nice card. It is a nice card. I've heard big rumors about it. One, two, three. Uh, I don't know if this is a four because I don't open this set because it's in the uh, the Age of Death where there was no Starlights, no Ultis, no nothing. It was the highest card was a Seeker Rare. So really boring to open unless you're trying to get that Thunder Dragon Colossus. Here we go. And you're not going to get it there. Okay, and by you, I mean me. I did not get it. Two packs left. Extreme victory. We're back all the way in 2011. So 13-year-old pack right here. I'm so glad I found these stupid mystery boxes. It took me forever to get it. I guess they're not mystery boxes. Monster boxes. Completely different. One, two, three. I don't remember the pack trick. I think it is the weird one. Let's do it real quick. Let's get the Ghost Rare. I've never gotten it before out of this set. Serene Psychic Witch. Rux and Special. Reboot. Localized Tornado. Self-Mummification. Mental Seeker. Power Up Adapter. Psychic Reactor, Psy Beast, and the Mech Lord Army of Wizzle. One more pack. First Ed. Gotta believe we can do this. We can make it happen. <sighs> Last pack up today. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys would let me know what you think about the mystery boxes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video want to see more like this or different from this can do all the stuff also go check out pokerox i posted a new video recently i really like it i think it was pretty cool it's a little bit different than what we normally do but we're at 6500 subs getting close to that 10k i'm giving away a nintendo switch on that channel when we hit there so if you are interested in that go support me on pokerox Civic ceremony we have force resonator tgx 300 we have buster blaster not the buster blader the buster blaster even more intimidating and a final card red dragon vase so that was a little bit of a dud opening, but that's okay. It followed up an awesome product, not a dud product at all. Okay, you could argue it was a dud product. I don't know. It's up to you guys on what you think. Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, American Deutscher, KK Beats, another side show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.